We are sorry that the first 19 attempted episodes to Sutton came on our Google Google raised by approximately 11 minutes. This is due to an operational incident earlier today. We apologize for this late running and the inconvenience caused. Hello, and today I'm at City Thameslink, located on the Thameslink call. As of yet, this is the only station on the Thameslink call I've not filmed that, so I'd like quite like to get some shots uh, at this station. As arriving in now, it's going to be the 1226 Thameslink service running from, I assume, Bedford to Brighton. That's spotting out in the intro there, you saw 700114, which brought me in from Finsbury Park. That was on a delayed Thameslink service running from uh, Peterborough to Horsham, as also you saw in the opposite direction. 704 something, 5, 6, I think going from Sutton to St Albans. City Thameslink, uh, very, very, very close to London Blackfriars. I believe the length of the platforms at um, City Thameslink here is actually longer than the distance between here and Blackfriars Direct. And um, see, so look how close these trains are running. The train, another train during one minute behind this as well. Aside from the fact that City Thames, oh wow, big arc there. Aside from the fact that um, City Thames Link um, is one of the um, le less busy stations on the Thames Link core, meaning there are um, less people around than some of the other stations, so it is easier to film. Um, one reason I came to City Thames Link, um, aside from the fact that it's the only station I haven't filmed up on the Thames Link core, is that it's where northbound Thames Link services change power. Um, once the Sutton service arrives, and hopefully the next northbound service arrives, you should be able to see the next service changing power. As you can see, we haven't even stopped recording and the next southbound train is arriving in already. Platform 2 from the 1219 Yes, this is the um, service to Sutton by Wimbledon, 1219 by Wimbledon. As the announcements say, delayed by about 10 minutes this one. 700059. Oh. And so this train is stopping at London Blackfriars, then going direct to Wimbledon. It's going direct to Wimbledon. Look at that, London Blackfriars, Wimbledon, Sutton. I'd quite like to get on one of those services. <laughs> As the service is now departing, next stop being at London Blackfriars, followed by Wimbledon and then Sutton. Very strange. I got a bit of a lull in the um, southbound services now, so we should be able to see hopefully some some nice arcs and some um, tempting services heading northbound as well. Yeah. So 101 tennis just come in. I missed it because my gimbal was being silly. Let's walk slightly up the platform so we can see the pantograph raising.
Here is the Pantagoff. Train will be changing power here. There goes the third row. There goes the Pantagoff. Train is now on AC power. Yes, southbound Thameslink services will change power at Farringdon. Um, uh, yet any trains heading southbound will change from AC power to DC power at um, Farringdon. There goes the um, power supply turning off. Um, and services going northbound will change power here at City Thameslink. Uh, so that's an interesting fact. Question of the video quite early on. Can you name another station um, on the Thameslink uh, or on the Thames and Great Northern Southern Gatwick Express Network where trains change power from AC to DC or vice versa so from or where trains change power let me know down in the comments below I guess it's running a bit late. Okay, as arriving in now is going to be the delay 1234. Uh, Thameslink service will run. Oh, thank you for interrupting me. 1234 service to Sutton by Mitcham Junction. This one does call at all stops down to Sutton today, so I'm um, not sure what was going on with the um, service that ran. Uh, by Wimbledon, 700006 is on this one. Very nice indeed. There's another service arrived behind it, we'll get that one once this one departs. Okay, this one won't be hanging around for very long because it is de um, delayed by about six minutes now. Next stop, London Blackfriars. As the 700 sorts out its power. Behind. Okay, this one calls at all stations uh, down to uh, Sutton via Mission Junction. Seven hundred one three eight here. The signing twelve thirty nine Thameslink service running from Horsham to Peterborough. Just now on AC power, having come in on DC power, as with all services. Calling next at Farringdon. Okay, so we're out is the 12.36 Thameslink service running from Cambridge to Brighton. Which is 700132. Pulling down the Black Forest, London Bridge, East Croydon, Gatwick Airport, Three Bridges, Haywood Sea, Burgess Hill, and Brighton only. So I believe we do have another northbound service which will be arriving in any minute now.
As coming in now is going to be the 1241 Thames Link service running from Bedford to Three Bridges. As of the December 2022 timetable change, uh, the original Bedford to Gatwick Airport service is now going to Three Bridges. As you know, it's just easier for driver changeovers or something like that. So 100, 103 on this one. So 0021 on Rise of St Auburn City. Catch both services when they depart. Okay, I was getting ready to depart now. Is the 1241 Thames Link service to Free Bridges? This one calls at um, on Black Forest, London Bridge, Norwood Junction, East Croydon, South Croydon, Hurley, calls in South. Uh, then what? Off to cause himself. Red Hill? I don't know. I don't know that part of the line very well. That's 7001 parts out for St Albans City. Just down there. Thames Link service is doing from Raynham today. It's seriously delayed for some reason. Um, Raynham service arriving on platform one shortly has been delayed by about 20 minutes. Not too sure why. Um, very interesting. <laughs> Let's see what turns up next. So 135 is arriving in now from Bedford. So I believe it's from Brighton. Yup, Brighton to Bedford. All these trains seem to have slightly minor delays on them, like five minute delays for some reason. We are sorry that the 12 39 Really? Power change, power change, power change, power change. Right, let's set up the platform to see if we can see the random service arriving in now. I can see its lights just around the corner. Here it comes, here is the 1239 Thames Link service. Running from Luton to Raynham, the service will be running via Woolwich and Abbey Wood. Just being informed that we might have a 377 coming through here. 71031 arriving in Alban 4 Radom. Yeah, there appears to be a faulty train at London uh, London Bridge, was what the uh, driver on that train said. He just gave an announcement on the train saying that this service is likely to be heavily delayed outside of London Bridge, which is probably the reason why the northbound service to uh, from Raynham to Luton is around 20 minutes late and increasing. This train has been cleared into London Blackfriars. Um, not too sure um, how much of a backlog this is going to create. It'll be interesting to see. One. Next stop, London Blackfriars. Have a 377 during about 10 minutes or so. Stick around until the end. Is it a 377? Selhurst TRSMD to Hornsey. What's based at Selhurst? Are the 387s or 377s? And Southern's 377s have been going up to Hornsey recently. 
um, due to uh, for tire turning, so um, for the wheel lathe because Hornsey has a very nice wheel lathe. So they'll be going up there. So hopefully it'll be a 377. It might be a 700. If it is, I'll be quite sad. But anyway, as arriving now is going to be. What's this? The Tour 49 Thameslink service running from Sutton, um, from St Albans City to Sutton via Wimbledon. This one is actually calling at all stops on the route today. Um, so looks like the operational incident has been cleared. Seven hundred zero three two. As you can see, uh, but arriving behind is going to be another Thameslink service running from Brighton to Cambridge. We'll see if we can get the numbers of this one. Seven hundred one five four. Okay, yeah, this train is now ready to depart. Next stop, London Black Forest. Twenty-two minutes now. Seven hundred one point four. That's another train of today's. Let's got another service arriving now. This is the twelve fifty-one Thameslink service arriving, going from Peterborough to Horsham. Our suspected three seven seven has just passed Elephant and Castle. Is seven hundred one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Very grubby train this one. Very grubby train. Catch this one when it departs. All of the trains that five minutes late is really strange. Is it because of the rain? Next up, London Black Forest. 70016 has also just arrived here, bound for St Albans City from Sutton. One of the few services seen today that are not um, annoyingly delayed. And another train arriving in. This is going to be the 1256 Thameslink service running from 
uh, stops at Wivelsford, so it'll be from Bedford this one. I think I'm going to head on to the opposite platform now so that you definitely don't miss what's heading northbound. As this Thames Exodus departs, as also arriving in, is going to be another Thameslink service bound for Luton. Is it finding the random service? Someone to zero two three. from this one. Yeah, let's head to the opposite platform. This is the slowest escalator I've ever seen, look at it. It's like it's broken, you can't even really see it moving, can you, on camera? Right, what's coming from platform one now? The platform 1 doesn't actually have bad views over to London Black Forest is arriving and now it's going to be the 12.59 Thameslink service running from uh, either Gatwick Airport, not Gatwick Airport, either Free Bridges or Brighton uh, to Bedford. Seven hundred one three seven three seven seven should be just behind this, it's just arrived at London Black Forest. Suitcases on board, quite a few people I assume have come off at um, Gatwick Airport. This train will indeed change by a bit. There we are. Alright, let's head down the platform to see if we can get a good shot of whatever's coming through. Oh, I can see what's coming through. I can see what's coming through. Look at that. It's a 387 on the Thameslink court. It's going back to Hornsey from Selhurst. It's got an X-Gap Express one up the river as well. Seven triple two on the Thameslink core, and it's stopping here. We might be able to get a picture of it. How rare! Oh my word! Oh, it's changing power. It's changing power. It needs to stop there to change power, of course. Is this one of the first times a 387 has been onto the Thames Inc. Core, except for the transfer gap express sets? All the people trying to get on this train are not going to be able to. Still held it to red. We'll catch this one before. I'm really happy I stayed just a bit longer to see this. 
As off goes straight 7 triple two bound for Hornsey from Selhurst. Not too sure what Fritz 7 1 was doing at Selhurst, but off these sets go. Anyway, what a brilliant end to a brilliant um, session of spotting here at City Thames Inc. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, then do click like button down below and do consider subscribing if you do enjoy my content. I'm going to head to Pizza Union now. 700 133 bound for Brighton, it, um, it's now departing for the south from Cambridge, I assume. So until next time, bye everyone. <laughs>